What's growing on, gardeners? Today I'm going to share with you a tip that you may might want to do in your deciduous fruit trees, plants, shrubs, and so on, and that is removing the leaves or trimming off the leaves when they have not fallen off the plant yet. There are two reasons why you don't want to do this. The first one being it sends energy back into the plant. These leaves are still sending energy into the plant even though it looks like they might not be. This blueberry here, it's gone through almost two months worth of frost, but see, these leaves are still firmly on and even some of them are still green. So that is important because you want a strong plant through winter and any of the energy that is left in the leaves going back into the roots will allow for a stronger plant that will better able to withstand cold weather and it will better be able to produce in, your, in the spring. Uh, that is important because you want to get as much fruit as possible. Of course, these are fruit plants. Now, of course, some of them will all naturally fall off, and that is perfectly fine. But I would not go and forcibly trim like these strawberry leaves or raspberry leaves. Because the second reason, even though they do look dead, if they're still attached, they're still bringing protection for the plants. For the cold winds, the cold weather, this is insulating some of the branches. And I wouldn't want to just go and strip these leaves off because of that protection. Um, this will also allow for less winter dieback. Um, if you've ever had plants, especially in ground or in pots, and they've died back maybe a couple inches from the stems, that is because there was not enough protection and the stems or the tips of the stems got too cold so they just died back a little bit. So that's just a quick tip that I wanted to share with you about uh, your strawberries and blueberries, raspberries, what not to do during the winter, something you might want to do. See this doesn't look the neatest in the world but it will protect your plants and you'll have a better and more abundant harvest come spring. So I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe and check out this video on why you need to build a garden now.